The Catholic Church has admitted, we are being visited by intelligent beings coming to Earth from the depths of the universe. The Church has never gotten along very well with science, and especially the Catholic Church did not have a good relationship with the sciences that tried to show that there is something else in the world besides God. Recently, however, the Vatican's official astronomer admitted that extraterrestrial life could exist. There's probably life there, and there's probably an intelligent form, but I don't think we'll ever meet Mr. Spock there, said Jose Funes, director of the Vatican Observatory in Rome. These claims come several hundred years after the Catholic Church denied the right of researchers to see beyond the stories of the Bible. In 1633, Galileo Galilei was forced to retract the claim that the Earth orbited the Sun. Then, Galileo would have said, Eper si move. In translation, this means, and yet it moves. Now, Funes argues that the Bible is not a book of science. We should not look to it for answers. It answers important questions, like what is our role in the universe, he said, adding that such answers may also come from exploring other stars and planets. This type of research, the search for life in the universe, helps us to understand ourselves, to understand our potential, but also our limits, said Jose Funes. Alien corpses brought by a ufologist to the Mexican parliament. We are being visited by intelligent beings who come to Earth from the depths of the universe. A well-known Mexican journalist and ufologist, Jamie Mawson, presented at a public hearing in the Mexican Chamber of Deputies what he claims are two mummified alien corpses, reports the Mexican newspaper El Universal. Jamie Mawson brought to the hearing in the Mexican parliament two boxes in which he claims there are mummified corpses, over a thousand years old, of some extraterrestrials. He claims their age was determined by carbon-14 tests. Shortly after the hearings, the images went viral, leading to heated debate on the internet between those who believe aliens exist and have visited us and those who doubt them. We will show non-human bodies, which are part of our evolution, according to the test carried out by UNAM. These beings are more than a thousand years old, he said. The parliamentary hearing was organized with the aim of laying the foundations for legislation on unidentified anomalous aerial phenomena and gathered a large audience, curious and experts in the field, who graced the hall. Many did not fit in the hall. A team of researchers from the National Autonomous University of Mexico also determined through carbon-14 analysis that the beings were buried for a millennium covered by diatoms, a type of algae that does not allow the growth of bacteria or fungi, being thus extremely well preserved. Mawson insisted that the aliens are not mummies, but whole, complete bodies that have not been manipulated internally and that have a number of elements that make them truly extraordinary. He argued that these findings, along with the testimony provided by David Grush and Ryan Graves, provided sufficient evidence to prove the existence of extraterrestrial life. Jamie Mawson then stated that if we have the courage to accept that we are being visited by intelligent non-human beings coming to Earth from the depths of the universe, we might even travel to other universes. A new controversy on the internet. However, while those who believe in the existence of UFOs enthusiastically received the evidence brought by the ufologist on social networks, the skeptics questioned his entire testimony. Specifically, they claimed that two of the six fossilized specimens that were found inside a mine near the Nazca Lines in 2017 were presented during the hearings. Images of one of the mummified bodies, which then went viral around the world, showed a humanoid figure with an elongated skull and three fingers on each hand and foot. Astronomer from the Vatican, aliens are God's friends. After the chief exorcist of the Vatican warned us that the devil has his residence in the holy place, it was the turn of the chief astronomer to make an at least unusual statement. He says that God and aliens can coexist. Thus, Father Gabriel Funes, the head astronomer of the Vatican, declared in an interview that there is a close connection between religion and science. The priest does nothing but bring into discussion an old controversy since the beginning of time. What is surprising is the fact that a representative of the Catholic Church speaks publicly about such a delicate issue. Gabriel Funes confesses that he believes in the existence of alien brothers and that humanity is not the only form of life in the universe, on the contrary, it could be the last. He believes in the existence of an entire extraterrestrial community, which is in close friendship with the Creator. 
Although he is the only one who had the courage to publicly support these statements, he is not the only representative of the Vatican who believes in this theory. Many of the science specialists from the Vatican have the same conviction. Father Funes also believes that the Big Bang represents the moment of creation and that the world is governed by the laws established then. The Father's beliefs contradict the theories of the Church, which in the 17th century condemned Galileo for his discoveries. The great powers are very close to agreeing and providing a clear answer to one of the world's great questions. Are there aliens or not? All eyes are on Moscow and Washington after the Vatican let it be understood that it has some information in this regard. Moreover, high-level discussions were held on this topic, but each time it was considered that it was not the right moment for such a crucial announcement. Apparently, the time is approaching. The first step was taken by the Catholic Church in 2011 when the director of the Vatican Observatory, at the same time the advisor of Pope Benedict XVI, Jose Gabriel Funes, stated, in an article published in Law Servitor Romano, that intelligent beings created by God could live in other places besides the earth, it is possible to believe in God and in aliens. Christians can admit the existence of other worlds and other forms of life, even the most more evolved than us earthlings, without thereby calling into question the belief in creation, incarnation, or salvation. Of course, in such a large universe you cannot exclude this hypothesis. Just as there are a multitude of creatures on earth, there can be other beings, even intelligent ones, created by God. He is the creator of the world. There is a plan behind creation. We are not the children of an accident. Immediately after this step was taken, the pressure of the people to present irrefutable evidence began to increase. No less than 17,000 Americans signed two petitions asking the American government to present the evidence proving the existence of extraterrestrial beings. As it was not yet time to settle the matter, the answer came via a ricochet from Phil Larson of the Office of Science and Technology Policy and was published by the White House website. The United States government has no evidence of the existence of life outside our planet or any extraterrestrial presence that would have contacted humans. Furthermore, there is no information to suggest hiding the evidence from the public. However, the subject of life on other planets is not closed. The last sentence ignited even more the imagination of those who are convinced that there is intelligent life outside the Earth. Moreover, according to some surveys, 50% of American citizens are convinced of this. The subject is not one to be neglected, given the interest of people all over the world. There are several thousand sites dedicated exclusively to intelligent beings in space, but several tens of thousands of forums where people discuss this more or less informally. In such a network, all kinds of strictly secret information could not fail to appear. According to a report presented by several sites from the ex-Soviet space, Russia believes that the time has come for the world to learn the truth about extraterrestrials and asks President Barack Obama to seriously consider the possibility of agreeing to it as soon as possible to make an announcement. The shortest time can be translated as the end of 2014, the beginning of 2015. In Russia, the topic came back into the spotlight after Pravda journalists published several materials in which they claimed to have talked with General Alexei Savon, a member of the Academy of Sciences Naturel, which states that in the 80s a group of Soviet researchers made contact with a superior civilization from extraterrestrial space. According to Savon, during these contacts, no less than six researchers would have arrived on board an alien ship. If the stories have a real basis, surely there is also tangible evidence of these meetings. Such meetings have been talked about and written enormously in the USA, but by far the most publicized case is the one known as the Roswell UFO incident, which happened in 1947 in the state of New Mexico in the USA. During a storm that occurred in July 1947, an unidentified object fell near a farm in the town of Roswell. The army immediately reported to the government that a flying disc had fallen to the ground, and after a few hours the local police rushed to announce that the fallen object was a simple weather balloon. Later, the press presented numerous photos, but also secret documents related to this case, and one of the reports talking about the recovery of some bodies of short aliens, which were later thoroughly investigated. 
However, there is also information that completely refutes these theories and that talks about a diversion of Moscow, the unidentified object being nothing more than the prototype of a German plane, confiscated by the Soviets during the Second World War, on board of which there were some children specially trained for such missions. Beyond these incidents, one thing is also confirmed by CIA reports, recently declassified, according to which the agents were more concerned and more afraid of the possibility of an alien attack than of a Soviet invasion. 